Good morning. Welcome back to another episode of Monday Morning Yo-Yo. Biggest news in the yo-yo world last week was the Grunt release, our mid-size release. Um, this happened over on the Patreon page for a monthly shipment, and then there was a claim for the extras of two colorways, the Shadow Stone and the Arkham Speckle, uh, along with a lottery for the Crimson Glacier. So we had those three colorways working on last week. We're finalizing the rest of the shipment out today, along, along with uh, finalizing the um, extras claim. There's some extra layers that go in with that, so that took me a little longer to get to. But that was the biggest news, the grunt. It's a lot of fun. We will have a direct store release here very soon. Um, but first up, let's get to Matt. Matt, hit me with the bangers. What's happening, beautiful people? Happy Monday. I hope life is good for you, and I hope you enjoy these bangers. Let's get into it. Up first is California's own version of Mr. Hank Hill himself, Mr. Brandon Hines. This guy not only has a wonderful lawn, but he can seriously throw a banger down if needed. Brandon's first bind shows you that speakers and speaker accessories are not the only thing he does in his free time. Nah, homie's been practicing that bind. Brandon has such a beautiful flow about himself and he really shows him during this banger. Thanks for absolutely shredding here recently, my man. We sure love you and we look forward to seeing you in your next bangers. El Heinzo. Up second this week is, well, whatever that name is below me is. Just because we don't speak the same language though does not mean I don't understand what this guy's saying. Quick bangers, awesome bangers. Chopsticks is one of my favorite yo-yo elements and I really feel like he uses it differently than you see most players using. I really like the over the arm part. There was just lots of visual greatness in this trick. I don't know your name, brother, but you have definitely gained a fan today. Cannot wait to see what you come up with next. Last this week, we have an absolute treat for you. Mr. Colin Beckford is a top five player in at least three different categories in our country alone. And he is really showing us that here and he is putting that yo-yo to no curveballs, no change-ups, just straight gas. I used to call this dude a little brother. He is now a grown man. Super proud of who you are. Your yo-yo in is super inspiring and love watching you perform, man. Anyways, y'all, that's been the bangers. Happy Monday, mucho love from me to you. I will see y'all next week, and I look forward to it. Thank you, sir. That's a highlight of, I know, a lot of our weeks. Uh, it's fun to see some players featured. Um, always fantastic tricks. Hope you guys are working on your fixed axle February as well. Um, this is week two, so we're running out of time, almost halfway through. Yeah, last week, huge week of grunt prep and shipment. This week... Look at this stack. Stack on stack. Customs. Uh, a lot of uh, the custom order came in, but we have a, a lot of other work to go along with that. We will be trying to have that grunt release as soon as possible that I talked about um, because I do want to get one out into the store um, even with the extras claim being available to the free members. If you haven't stopped over to the Patreon page, there's free membership. Just It's free. Check it out. We have one more batch of customs to go through before we do the next sign-up. I'll make sure to let you know when the next sign-up is because when we do have the sign-up, it takes about six, seven months before we do have another sign-up for customs. So I want to make sure you get on the list if you're interested. Uh, it takes us a long time to get through that customs list. How about that game last night? Chiefs fans, rejoice. Back to back Super Bowls. So... If you were on the Discord page and you reached out and you typed in the Chiefs before those playoffs started, I'm going to be reaching out and deciding on the colorway with you guys. I don't think we're going to do swirls. Um, there's a little bit of backstory on why, but basically I don't think the swirls are going to get to us before the Chiefs win another Super Bowl. So we're going to work on another colorway. I have a couple options, and I really think that you guys are going to enjoy a, a light. It's kind of like the old style sponge. Gives it that combat -y look. Um, it really gives it, instead of a, a full, um, like a, a full spot on the sponge, it kind of gives it a little bit closer to the ridges around a sponge. And I think that could be really cool. This is the second time that the Chiefs are getting a version. So last time they did do the splash 
Um, so I think we need to go sponge or maybe even some sort of rim that the sponge on the rim to give it that different look like we've done in the in a lot of these customs you see look at that so we can hit something like that but we'll work on discussing the technique with the members that uh, originally stated their Chiefs fandom to start the playoffs and then we'll open up if there's any extra slots to anybody else that likes the idea of the colorway for a couple little bit of a, a pre-order style thing to celebrate that championship um, I like sports so that's something I like to do I've got a Cavs 2016 championship fancy that is like the second most important yo-yo in my collection um, so I like to make sure if uh, there's enough people that are cheering for a team that wins a championship we get you something to celebrate it with a lot of you might be stopping in now we're coming up on mid-february for the wraith pre-order and the wraith pre-order ended up being a little bit larger than expected so i'm expecting to get those at the end of march uh not the end of march i'm expecting to get those at the end of february so they're most likely it's going to take me a couple weeks to get those all assembled and tested so we're probably looking at a mid-march for when I start getting those invoices out for your second payment and get those shipments sent on their way. So that's your little update there, looking at mid-March to finalize those is what I'm expecting right now. I've got a beanie going up in the store. This is not a beanie, this is a hat, but I've got like 10 beanies. I better get them up before winter's over. And then I've got the mini FOVs. Yes, the big FOVs, the regular FOVs that holds 28 yo-yos has been restocked. Um, whatever's in the store that's what we've got left from the second run but the little six pack minis that you guys saw teased for the grump video i'm going to get those um promoed and the biggest thing is i have to get photos for the website so as soon as i can get that done i'll get those on the website we should have about a hundred of them they do fall in that category of order them by themselves they have little individual boxes they ship in um so it's something that ships by itself uh, don't order a hat with it because I can't combine them into a different box or whatever. It just the cases need to ship by themselves. They are in their own individual shipping cases. Um, and any issues with the cases, just let me know. Shoot me an email. I don't go through and check each case individually. Um, it's just because I'm not packaging them. They're already pre-packaged from the factory after I design the case. So. Just let me know if you have any issues, If there, especially if there is UPS damage, they will refund you the cost and then you can either get a new case or just keep that case and you'll get a refund as well. That has been Monday Morning Yo-Yo.